It was to point out that the system is rigged and you will never change anything through the political system because the political system is actually there and structured to stop anything changing for the better of the people, to stop anything changing that stops this incessant direction of the world to, to global fascism from continuing. So there is no such thing as an alt-right, an alternative media um, that calls itself right. Just as there's no such thing as a alternative media that calls itself left or center or progressive or any of it. Because these are all tags and names and labels for basically the same thing in terms of ultimately what's controlling them. And so the alternative media needs to, um, needs to look at itself. The genuine alternative media that is um, exposing the way things work rather than taking political positions within the structure of the way things work. And um, it needs to um, make sure that um, it doesn't get pulled into this uh, political nonsense that significant parts of the alternative media have been pulled into. Then there's this thing coming up now more and more and more in the last few days since the Trump election. And it's called fake news. Well, the ironies are not lost. This is the idea that Trump got elected because of fake news from alternative sources um, on the internet, social media and all this stuff. The irony, there are many, but one of the major ones is that the mainstream media is pushing this about fake news, as are the politicians, of course. Um, when, if you want the home of fake news, decade after decade after decade, then just go to the alternative media. Uh, sorry, the, the mainstream media. Um, although the alternative is involved in fake news as well as I'll come to in parts of it. If you, um, if you look at the, even the, the leaked emails um, in terms of uh, Clinton uh, and the, um, the way the media was working with her to her benefit and to uh, manipulate the perceptions of the population, for that same media now to come out and start saying we must, in effect, start censoring the internet because of fake news, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, but of course, the genuine alternative media has and continues to make a fantastic contribution to the circulation of information and exposure of the system and that which serves the system in all its forms, which is making an impact upon the political system and on people's awareness of the world as it really is. And so, of course, they want to label things uh, in a way that uh, targets the alternative media. So it's all fake news. No, it's not. Actually, it's the best journalism on planet Earth comes from the alternative media. However, as I said, with a little, what do they call them, Freudian slips, when I said alternative instead of mainstream, um, that actually was very relevant because it's no good either, the alternative media sticking its nose in the air um, and looking down on the mainstream and then having very significant swathes of it operating and acting in the same way the mainstream does. Let's not um, fall into this black and white trap that the mainstream media is fake news, but the alternative media, is, ooh, all of it, oh no, it's the truth. No, it's not. There's a load of old bollocks comes out through what calls itself the alternative media. We have, we have, we, we have, um, websites, many websites that call themselves um, alternative media platforms that blatantly put out fake news that they've made up. You, you have um, a situation where you, you, they, they put out a headline designed to make you click on it so that you'll add to their advertising revenue. And when um, you um, when you go to the text, having now added to their advertising, the text in absolutely no way justifies the headline. 
It's called clickbait. That's the alternative. Um, there, there's a, a, a one um, website, actually, a, again, ironically, run by a former webmaster of davidike.com at some time ago, um, that not only uh, operates with the, uh, the, the clickbait uh, technique, but actually uses a named writer that doesn't actually exist. And they call themselves alternative. Now, if you want to discredit the genuine alternative media that's making and has made such a fantastic contribution to the population's awareness of what's happening and it's not being told about, then all you do is you pick out the fake news people. You pick out the clickbaiters. You pick out people who are using fake writers and you say that's the alternative media. It's not, but that's the way propaganda works. So it's important that the genuine alternative media doesn't sit around and just let this go unchallenged, but, but constantly highlights to people where these clickbait sites are, where these um, uh, fake news sites are, uh, um, and, and, and the alternative media uh, cleans up its own house. And please, those that have supported Trump in the alternative media and taken a political position, please sit down, take a deep breath and have another look at it. It's about the system, exposing the system, exposing the rigged system, which means it doesn't really matter who comes in, in terms of front people, because the system's in control, whoever's there. That's what, that's what we were created to expose progressives. Progressives, are, um, th these are people, it's, 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 it's a word used in America, it's being used in Britain and more widely now. Progressives are those, um, you, you, can, you can pretty much recognize them because they have big hearts all the way down their arm, on their sleeve. Oh, I'm so kind and I'm so good. Look at me, look at what I'm doing. I'm such a kind, loving person. Right, let's um, see, one of the, the, the words that is put together with progressive, almost like um, their interchangeable terms, is liberal. In fact, um, in, in America, uh, it's conservative or it's liberal, it's Republican or Democrat. So this word liberal is thrown around all the time. In fact, it's thrown around very liberally. Um, so three definitions. Liberal, favoring reform, open to new ideas and tolerant of the ideas and behavior of others not bound by traditional thinking, broad-minded. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the direction I'm coming from. Um, if you want to use the dictionary definition, now progressive, which is supposed to be liberal, but uh, isn't much of it anyway. Progressive, favoring or advocating progress, but who decides what's progress? Change, improvement, who decides what's improvement? And reform, as opposed to wishing to maintain things as they are, especially in political matters. Well, there's nothing in that definition that, that you could call liberal, it's just wanting change, etc. Now, this is interesting. This is the definition of fascism. A tendency toward or actual exercise of strong autocratic or dictatorial control. Now, when I look at the behavior of so many people that call themselves progressives, it's that last definition that I see. We have um, people, um, uh, well, it's obviously, much of it has been uh, generated and coordinated out of the shadows. But we've had these protests against Trump um, that um, he, he, he shouldn't be present, that um, things should happen to, to, to stop that happening. We've had violence on the streets. Uh, these people call themselves progressives. Yet, if Clinton had have won in the same way that Trump did, that would have been to these same people. The people have spoken, it's democracy. Instead, we've had these progressives um, holding up um, love 
uh, Trump's hate banners with fury and hatred on their faces. I mean, anyone got a mirror might be helpful. These people are so self-deluded. They don't see that their behavior mirrors that which they claim to oppose. And so we, 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 we're having um, these protests and, and then we're having um, Clinton supporters, progressives, crying and in need of therapy and stuff because, because a, a woman who, who so believes in the rights of women that she takes millions from the royal family of Saudi Arabia, which you may have noticed has a problem with women's rights, but someone who is one of the most deeply, deeply corrupt people ever to appear in American politics, and my God, think of the competition, has not won the presidency of the United States. Ah, oh, therapy! Instead of looking at what is wrong and what is behind a system called democracy and politics that offers you a disaster or a catastrophe in terms of Clinton or Trump.